dargie Radio Marija Latvija klausītāji. Piedāvājam jums ieskatu Alfas 5. konferencē, kas notika 23. 24. janvārī Rīgā, Agenskalmā. Šajā reizē klausies turpinājumu lekcijai par Jēzu, kurš dziedina. Now I want to make a jump from his life and death to when he rose again and commissioned his disciples. Un tagad pārēsim no viņa dzīves un nāves uz to vietu, kur viņš ir augšām cēlies. It is Jesus who sent the disciples saying, as the Father sent me, so I send you. Jo Jēzus sūta savus mācekļus ar vārdiem, kā tevs ir mani sūtījis, tā es sūtu jūs. And he then also told the disciples to make disciples in all the world. Un tad viņš saka, dariet par mācekļiem visas tautas. So I believe what he commanded his first disciples also counts for us. Un tāpēc es teicu, ka tā pavēle par darīšanu par mācekļiem attiecas arī uz mums. And one of the things he promised is that when we shall lay hands on the sick, they shall be healed. Un viens no apsolījumiem ir, ka tad, ja viņi uzliks rokas slimajiem, tie tiks uh, dziedināti. And we see the fulfillment of that prof- uh, promise in the book of Acts, where the disciples actually go out. They first stay in Jerusalem for quite a long time. Un to mēs uh, redzam piepildāmies apustuļu darba grāmatā, pēc tam, kad viņi ir palikuši Jeruzalemē kādu laiku. But when they go out, they saw amazing things happening. Apustuļi dodas pasaulē un sāk notikt brīnumi. Their methods might be a bit different than ours today, like Alpha. Ja varbūt viņi strādā ar citām metodēm un viņiem nav Alpha kursa. But the job stays the same. Bet darbs ir tas pats. Go into the world. Iet pasaulē. Preach the gospel sludināt labo vēsti demonstrate the power of the kingdom parādīt dieva valstības varu and disciple the new believers un darīt par mācekļiem jaunus ticīgos and uh, Jesus died on the cross Jēzus nomira uz krusta so we would have access to the father because sin separated us from god lai mums būtu pieeja dievam Jo grāks mūs atšķīra no Dieva. The connection to God that we have un tā saikne ar Dievu is so strong that Paul even wrote that nothing in this world, nor angels, nor demons, nor anything can separate us from the love of God. Saikne ir tik stipra, ka tā kā Pāvils raksta, nekas, ne nāva, ne dzīvība, ne vasā, Tur ir veselu rindu lietu, nespēj, nespējamoši šķirt no Dieva mīlestības. The Bible also reveals to us that God gives us the spirit of sonship, the Holy Spirit, with whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Un um, Bibelē arī ir teikts, ka mēs saņemam Dievu bērna garu, kas liek mums saukt Abba tēvs. So not just Jesus, but we can also call God the Father. Our father. Ne tikai Jēzus, bet arī mēs paši varam saukt Dievu par tēvu. And God started at Pentecost where he started to pour out his Holy Spirit upon his people. Un tas sākas no vasarsvētkiem, kad Dieva gars tiek izliecis par visu viņu tautu. And everybody who believed, as we read in the book of Acts, was also filled with the Holy Spirit. Un visi, kas ticēja to mēs arī lasām apustoļu darba grāmatā, tika piepildīta ar svēto garu. So, like Jesus, we have this access to the Father. Un tā tad līdzīgi Jēzum, mums ir tieši pieeja tēvam. We have the Holy Spirit with us. Ar mums ir svētais gars. Anointing us, empowering us to heal the sick. Um, kas mums um, um, ir sūtījis dziedināt slimos. And Jesus gave us the same job that, that the Father gave him. Un Jēzus mums dod to pašu darbu, ko tevs viņam ir devis. So what did Jesus do? Tad ko, ko Jēzus darīja? He went around and healed the sick. Viņš staigāja pa um, pasauli un dziedināja slimos. 
He did a lot of other stuff as well. Viņš darī arī citas lietas. But healing was a crucial part of his ministry. Bet viņa kalpošanā, dziedināšanai bija liela loma. Knowing this truth really changed the way I saw healing. Un lūk šis izmainīja to, kā es um, domāju par dziedināšanu. Because I always thought I had to ask God, God, would you please heal that person? Jo, es um, parasti domāju, Dievs, vai tu varētu lūdzu nejauši dziedināt šito cilvēku? And I'm not against a humble attitude before God. Um, un but it seems a bit silly to me when somebody pointed it out to me. Why do we ask God what he already died for? Un, bet man liekas diezgan muļķīgi lūgt um, Dievam tādos tā, pāpkārtceļiem to, ka, kādēļ viņš jau ir nomirs. Why do we ask God, is it your will to heal this person when he commanded us to heal and uh, commanded us to demonstrate his power? Un kāpēc mums jājautā Dievam, vai tas ir viņa prāts, ka kāds tiek dziedināts, ja viņš ir mums pavēlējis dziedināt cilvēkus? Why do sometimes people pray more for the family of the person afflicted by illness than for the healing of the person. Kāpēc cilvēki aizlūdz par slimā cilvēka ģimeni vairāk nekā par dziedināšanu, lai tā notiek? It is your job to become like Jesus. Um, ir, ir labi uzticēties Jēzum. Acts 10.38 says that Jesus healed everybody that came to him. Apostoli darbos ir rakstīts, ka Jēzus dziedināja visus, kas pie viņa nāca. He healed everybody who came to him and he ruined every funeral that he ever was at. Viņš dziedināja visus un izjauca daudzas, daudzas bērs, kurās viņš varēja būt tūmā. And the funniest thing is, before he left, he said to his disciples, and greater things you will do. Un pirms viņš aizgāja debesīs, viņš teica saviem mācakļiem, jūs darīsiet vēl lielākas lietas. Honestly, I don't really understand how that's possible or what we are actually supposed to do that is greater than what Jesus did. Es gan īsti nesaprotu, kas, kas man būtu jādara, lai man darba būtu lielāka nekā Jēzum. But I'm really excited to find out. Bet es to ļoti gribētu uzzināt. Alpas konference 23. un 24. janvārī. Rīgā, Āgenskalnā. So, I want to encourage you, when you pray for healing, un tāpēc es gribētu teikt, tā, kad jūs lūdzat par dziedināšanu, we do not need to determine whether God wants to heal or when he wants to heal. Tad mums nevajag noteikt, ko Dievs grib dziedināt un kad viņš to grib darīt. He settled that issue 2,000 years ago when he died for our illnesses and commanded us to heal the sick. Jo viņš šo jautājumu ir atrasinājis jau 2000 gadus atpakaļ, kad viņš dziedināja slimos un nomira mūsu grāku dēļ. Jesus also gave us the authority he had over illnesses. Un viņš mums ir devis varu pār slimībām. So don't, we don't need to ask God, would you please do this? Un tāpēc mums nevajag teikt, Dievs, vai tu lūdzu varētu to darīt? Because it's not us who heals, but he settled that issue a long time ago. Jo ne jau mēs dziedinam, un viņš jau il, sen, sen zenos laikos ir par to runājis. It is important for us to know who Jesus made us to be when he died. Jo mums ir svarīgi zināt, par ko Jēzus mūs ir padarījis ar savu nāvi. He made us to be like him. Viņš mūs ir padarījis sev līdzīgus. That doesn't mean we are God. Mēs neesam dievi. But we are the sons and daughters of God. Bet mēs esam dievu dēli un meitas. Just like Jesus showed us. Tieši tā, kā Jēzus mums ir parādījis. Because the life on earth of Jesus was not to demonstrate how awesome he is as God. Jo Jēzus zemes dzīves laikā um, nerādīja, 
cik viņš ir izcils un ietekmīgs. But what it looks like for a human to live in relationship with God. Bet viņš mums rādī, kā pareizi dzīvot attiecībās ar Dievu. So I want to encourage you. Un tāpēc es gribu jūs iedrošināt. Paul says, it is no longer I who lives, but Jesus in me. Ar Pāvilu vārdiem, jo tagad dzīvoju nevis es, bet Jēzus manī. Baptism is all about dying to your old life and coming alive, being resurrected like Jesus into your new one. Jo kristībā mēs nomirstam savai vecajai dzīvei un tiekam augšā un celti jaunai dzīvei Dievu spēkam. So when you pray for the sick, un tāpēc lūdzot par slimajiem, it's not you really praying. Ne jau jūs lūdzat. You are now alive in Jesus. Jo tagad jūs piederat Jēzum. It is Jesus through you. Un lūdz Jēzus cauri jums. And him in you. Un viņš arī dod spēku. Who does the healing. Un viņš dziedina. All right, so, so much to my words about healing. Tā tik tālu par dziedināšanu. Let's get to the practical part. Tagad ķersimies pie praksas. And come the people of my team can come up here. Es aicināšu šveicējušas uz priekšu. Um, while they're getting ready, un kamēr viņi gatavojas, I want everyone who has any condition in their body, es gribētu aicināt visus, kas jūtās slimi, that needs healing, uh, un vēlas tik dziedināti, and this one is really important, they can test it right now, and um, they would find out if they were healed right um, now. Izmēģināt iespēju tik dziedinātiem, So if you have a condition that you can test right now if it was healed, can you please stand up? Ja jums ir kādas veselības problēmas. Don't laugh. Ja jums ir kaut kādas, nu, pārbaudāmas veselības problēmas. You know, it's it's always a challenge to be on the road with young people, you know? Ja, ir vienmēr sarežģīti strādāt kopā ar jauniešiem. So it's also a challenge always for us if Simon is just preaching this and now we're just doing it. Un tagad mums ir takā izaicinājums mest, ja nu Simonam nav taisnība. Because I trust in God. Yeah. Bet es tiešām uzticos Dievam. has a condition they can check right now whether it was healed or not like for example diabetes might not be the right condition but if you have a shorter leg if you have a hurting wrist please stand up um nu varbūt mēs nevaram runāt par cukuru diabētu bet ja nu kādam ir teiksim sāpošas rokas vai kājas vai vēl kaut kas tāds if you feel pain in any way that's easy to notice when it leaves Um, vai ja jūs jūtat sāpes, ko var saprast, ka viņas pāriet? Um, yeah, you guys can, 
You guys can stay where you're at. You don't need to come to the front. Just stand up in your seat. Um, vienkārši piecelieties savā vietā. Jums nav jānāk uz priekšu. Because it's not us who's going to be praying for you guys. Jo, mēs par jums nelūksim. It will be the people around you. Um, to darīs cilvēki jums apkārt. <laughs> so, um, people around those who are sta- standing up, Tie, kas ir blakus cilvēkiem, kas ir piecēlušies. Maybe one or two. Vien, viens vai divi. But it's allowed to pray, more, more than two to pray as well, of Bet course. Bet arī vairāk drīkst aizlūkt. Please get up as well and gather around them. Um, tad sanāciet tiem cilvēkiem apkārt. Because today you're, you're going to be our prayer team. Jo jūs šodien esat aizlūdzēji komandā. Because when you go home, Jo tad, kad jūs iesiet mājās, we won't be here to pray. Uh, tad mēs par jums nevarēsim aizlaukt. And anyway, Jesus in me is the same as he is in you. Un tā, tāpat kā mūsos ir Jēzus, arī jūsos viņš ir. So it doesn't really matter who prays, as long as Jesus is involved, we're good. Un tāpēc nav svarīgi, kurš tieši aizlūdz, tik ilgi, kamēr tas notiek. Jēzus vārdā, tas ir labi. All right, let's make sure everybody has uh, somebody around them. So, um... If you're standing up because you have a condition and nobody is around you, please hold up your hand so we can see and some people can come over. Um, ja jums blakus nav nevien, kas par jums varētu aizlūkt, tad vienkārši paceliet roku un tad kāds pie jums aizies. So maybe, um, is there anybody? Two ladies in the back. So maybe some of our team will go and pray for you guys. Um, tur... And whoever is excited about healing or wants to be, see somebody heal can go back there too. Or to anybody around them. So, we're going to do this pretty simple. First step. Quickly, the people praying, it quickly introduce yourself, give them a nice smile. Tie, kas ir aizlūdzēji, iepazīstieties ar aizlūdzamo un viņam mīļu uzsmaidiet. And by the way, if you know the person you're praying for, if it's a person from your own family, like husband, wife or child, uh, ja jums blokus ir cilvēks no jūsu pašu ģimenes, kā vīrs vai sieva vai kāds bērns, that is amazing, but please go to another person. Tas ir ļoti jauki, bet ejiet aizlūgt par kādu citu. Okay, so please uh, just swap around. Vienkārši apmainieties vietām. All right, second step. Otrkārt. The people being prayed for, please give them a very, very, very short explanation of what you guys have. Um, tie, par kuriem aizlūdz, ļoti īsi un konkrēti pastāsta, Don't give them your medical history. Just tell, point to the place where it's hurting. I give you 10 seconds for this. Jums ir 10 sekundes. Alkas konferenc 23. un 24. janvārī. Rīgā, Āgenskalnā. All right, that's enough. Tagad nākamais solis. So, third step and last step. Trešais un pēdējais solis. People praying, please ask the one being prayed for. Uh, tie, kas aizlūdz, pajautājiet. Um, would you, if it's appropriate, put your hands where it's hurting. Uh, vai ir pieļaujams uzlikt rokas tai vietai, kas sāp? And otherwise, just put your hands on that person's shoulder if they're okay with that. Vai arī aizlūdzēji var vienkārši uzlikt rokas cilvēkam uz pleca, ja, ja, ja cilvēks piekriek. And then we got just going to pray a really simple prayer. Un tad mēs lūksim pavisam vienkārši. Because the power is not in the prayer. Jo spēks nav tajā lūkšanas vārdā. The power is also not in the right words. Jo um spēks nav pareizā tekstā if you remember in the scriptures ja jūs atceraties no rakstiem all jesus mostly did was be healed 
and then the person was healed. Jesus parasti teica topi vesels un cilvēks kļuva vesels. So please don't ask God whether he wants to heal that person. Lūdzu nejautājiet Dievam vai viņš vēlās, ka šis cilvēks tiek dziedināts. But just command that whatever is wrong out of their body. Bet vienkārši pavēliet tai sāpei vai tai nepareizī vai aiziet no cilvēka. And it's okay to command because we have that authority from Jesus. Un mēs drīkstam pavēlēt, jo mums Jēzu ir tāda vara. So I give you another 10 seconds to do that prayer. Tagad jums ir 10 sekundes šādu aizlūt. Go for it. On the cross, blood of water flow, the son of man was lifted high, his body broke. Konferenc 23. un 24. janvārī Rīgā, Āgenskalnā. All right, I think that was enough time to say be healed in Jesus name. Um, es ceru, ka jums pietika laika pateikt, esi dziedināts Jēzus vārdā. So I'm going to finish with my own prayer, but also really quick. Thank you, Jesus, for the seminar and for what you're doing. I invite you, Holy Spirit, to do your thing. Whack whatever is wrong in place again in Jesus' name. Un saliek visus lietas savās vietās Jēzus vārdā. Amen. Amen. All right, so I want everybody being prayed for test um, what, what's happened. Un tagad visi, par kuriem aizlūdzu, pārbaudiet, kas ir noticis. Faith requires an action. Jo ticība parādās darbībā. So if you couldn't leap, leap. Ja jūs um, nevarējāt vadīt, tad vadiet. If you couldn't lift your arm, lift your arm. Just, just test it out. Roku, Don't kill yourself, though. Bet nemēģiniet sevi nogalināt. All right. So, does anybody feel a difference? If, if you are 80% or more healed, can you hold up your hand? 
vai kāds ir sajūtis kāda atšķirība, ja jūs jūtat apmēram, jūtat ties 80% labāk paceliet roku? Wow, we have two people, three people, Trīs, four, četri, five. Hallelujah! Now the most wonderful thing about healing is I didn't do anything. I didn't try. I didn't try hard. It was actually pretty easy. Because God does all the heavy lifting. So whenever you find yourself trying really, really hard, Take a break. Don't pray. Because that's when you get into that mindset again that it's all about what I do. Healing is easy. And it can't be explained. Because it's supernatural. We don't need to be able to explain everything. As long as God knows what he's doing. So I think we're done here for this session. But if you have been healed today, those five, but ja jūs esat tikuš šodien dziedināti. I would love to see you giving glory to God for what he has done and giving testimony at some point. Es gribētu lai jūs par savu pieredzi arī liecinātu un apstiprinātu Dieva varenību. Jurks has been telling me that uh, there will be opportunity for testimonies tonight. Um, Jurks saka ka šovakar būs iespējas liecināt. You know the amazing thing about testimonies Whenever you tell them, it tends to happen again. Just one example, and then I will close. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? The, the woman who was bleeding and went to many doctors. She was the woman uh, sneaking up to Jesus, believing that she would be healed if she just touched the hem of his garment. And of course she gets healed. Because Jesus healed everybody who went up to him. But a bit later, in the gospel, but tālāk, tālāk we hear, we, uh, we read that the, the crowd around Jesus was really pressing in. Um, mēs lasām, ka ap Jēzu bija liels pūlis. And whoever touched, touched Jesus got healed as well. Un visi, kas pieskārās Jēzam, tika dziedināti. So I'm sure this lady had been telling her story Un um, es esmu pārliecināts, ka viņa stāstīja citiem par to, kas ar viņu noticis. So everybody thought, you know what, if I could just go to Jesus and touch him, I'll be healed. <coughs> Un visi domāja, ja es tiktu līdz Jēzam, tad es tiktu dziedināts. So all of a sudden, loads of people got healed when they touched him. <coughs> Un pēkšņi, ļoti daudz tika dziedināti. <coughs> I hope you're okay. We're almost finished. So, pardon? <laughs> yes, I asked her. <laughs> she, need, she said she needs just a sip of water and then she'll be fine. So the amazing thing is, this is my last sentence, the amazing thing is about Jesus, about these testimonies, when you tell them, they tend to happen again. Un tas brīnišķīgākais ar liecībām ir, ka ar tām mēs pavairojam notiekošu zēdināšanu. 
So you don't only give the glory to God for what happened, but you're also giving others the opportunity to experience the same. Jūs ne tikai pagodināt Dievu par to, kas ir noticis, bet jūs dodat iespēju lietām notikt vēlreiz. Amen. That's it. Alkas konferences 23. un 24. janvārī Rīgā, Āgenskalnā.